Hey guys, Markson50 here, just coming in with this quick view for you guys, <coughs> for you guys of Quantical, which uh, sold my mate a couple of days ago, and uh, I honestly didn't know anything about it when I went to see it. Um, my mate just said there's a film called Quantical, you want to go see it, so I was like, yeah, whatever, I've got nothing to do, might as well. So, uh, yeah, um, anyways, just give you a quick view of it. Now, the storyline turned out to be basically about these kids that get um, powers and... Um, there's this one kid and he's filming whole things so that's done as like a shaky cam effect mockumentary style film uh, and it actually was pretty interesting I'd say um, so basically that's what the storyline is about this film and um, it gets a bit hectic towards the end and um, that sort of the way that happens is sort of a bit unbelievable so uh, for that fact I would have given the story higher but I mean uh, because of that, I'll probably say it's about, I don't know, about 7.5, 8 out of 10. Because, I mean, it was pretty not neat to watch. It was a good action sequence. But, I mean, the justification for it just didn't seem enough for me. That's basically what I have to say about that. Uh, the characters, well, the characters were pretty interesting. Um, one of them was basically the kid that's filming it all. And, uh, obviously... It, they had the most interesting one because they fleshed out their character the most. The other one was just a character, it was just the cousin who, I don't really see the point of them, to be honest. Uh, until the, near the end of the film, they didn't really have a point to the film, if I'm perfectly honest, because of, um, if you've seen the film, you understand what I mean, but yeah, they didn't seem to need, they didn't seem to have to be there. And finally, there was this other guy who was a friend of his cousin's and he's fucking hilarious. Um, in my opinion, he's the best character. The kid was the most interesting, but this character was the best because he's the funniest comic relief. Um, and yeah, so uh, the characters actually, they're pretty varied. Um, if it weren't for the cousin, I think it would have been a bit better. So I'll probably say the character's about an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Um, the acting was actually pretty decent. Uh, the cousin, again, the cousin, I didn't think the cousin came across as such a great actor as the other two so um, probably based on that I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10 because the good overrides the bad when it comes to the acting and the action okay whilst near the end it does get extremely neat and pretty fucking entertaining but um, yeah whilst it gets pretty entertaining pretty neat uh, it does sort of lose a bit because of it just goes a bit too over the top, just like buildings are crumbling and everything. I mean, alright, this has gone a bit too far. It's so far that it's not believable. So, um, yeah, I mean, the action, I'll probably say is an 8, a solid 8, because of, um, yeah, it's neat, but is it necessary? That's debatable. Um, so, overall, I'll probably good film an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Uh, it's an entertaining film. Uh, it's not the film of the year, obviously. It wouldn't be this early, anyways. Um, so yeah, if you have time to go, time out to go see it, um, it's not. You can do a lot worse. I, I would recommend it if you have the money, but otherwise, um, if you really want to wait to see a film, I'd probably say wait for uh, Project X because that basically looks like a more entertaining um, shaky cam effect film, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about this. So this is Moxman50, signing out.